You are watching Ubuntu Bootcamp Part 10. In this episode, we're going to further tweak the system with Ubuntu Tweak, and all of that begins right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's uh, pick up where we left off. And I'm going to go ahead and open up Firefox here. And I'm going to do a little search for Ubuntu Tweak. Mr. Google is your friend. <laughs> okay. And the first link, of course, is the page where you can download the dev file. So let's we'll go ahead and download now. Uh, alternatively, uh, you may be able to find a PPA for this, but I'll just install a dev file because usually when I've run Ubuntu Tweak in the past, I pretty much set it up the way I wanted to and then never looked at the program again. All right, so let's go ahead and save this file. Okay, and that was a quick download as well. And so let's go ahead and navigate to where it downloaded here. And we'll go ahead and run this. Unlike other Linux distributions that have the lightweight GW package installer, Ubuntu wants you to open this in the Ubuntu Software Center. So we're going to go ahead and install this. Give it the password. Authenticate. And then uh, let this install. This shouldn't take long. Oh. It's finished. Well, it's about time. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's close this. And uh, we'll close this. Uh, now let's try and find it. Open up the dash here and just type in tweak. Ah, here it is. Okay, let's see if we get. With power comes responsibility, so be careful with what you do with this application. Um, surprised it didn't give me a warning here. Okay, it looks like it has a janitor in here. Some cash can be cleaned from your system. Now what that they're talking about is when your system, you know, when you install updates and packages to your system, it's stored in app cache. And I don't recommend doing this if you're going to make a uh, backup CD, there is an Apton CD program that you can get where you can back up all the uh, packages that you have in cache uh, for reuse later. But if you really need to clean the uh, drive space, I suppose you could use this. Personally, I use uh, BleachBit for cleaning out my system. Okay, so this is the overview. Let's see what kind of things we have in apps here. Interesting. It looks like it has its own little app store where you can choose different applications for installation. Very nice. Let's get into tweaks. Want to have fun with that. Okay. From here, we have a lot of things that we can be doing with this. Uh, the first one is miscellaneous. Why is that? Okay. You can choose some options here. You can have menus have icons or not. Buttons have icons or not. Show input method menu in the context menu. Show Unicode control character menu in the context menu. Ah, 
disable printing. Now, why would you want to do that? <laughs> but it's here. Okay. Uh, natural scrolling, overlay, scroll bars, cursor blink. Okay. Lovely. <clears throat> okay, well, what sound tweaks do we have? Okay, event sounds, play login sound. Yeah, good. Let's turn that off. I don't want to hear a sound when the computer turns on. Okay, cool. Back up here and see what else we got. Oh, theme. Okay. We can change our themes here. But really, this didn't come with much themes. But, great, if you uh, download and install more themes. Ah, session indicator. Hmm. Show user's real name on the panel. Disable lock screen. Well, how come it's showing, um, it's still showing my name? <laughs> okay, and that just resets the default value. Okay. Can I shut it off entirely? I pro you probably have to log out and log back in for some of these settings to take effect, I would expect. Okay, we'll shut that off just for laughs and giggles just to see if it breaks anything. Okay, what else have we got here? Love Wallpaper HD. Please wait a moment. Oh, okay. Powered by Love Wallpaper HD. Okay. Lovely! But really, um, yeah, uh, I can't even read this, so. Yeah. Useless. But let's see what I'm feeling lucky does. Once the program unfreezes. <laughs> Can anybody say holy shame on this app? <laughs> yeah, I do believe this application froze on me. Well, you know what, kids? I'm going to log out and then log back in. Ah! So, logging out and logging back in took um, Spatry off the um, bar. Okay, cool. I was able to hide that. I don't use it anyway. Why should I have it there, right? Okay. All right, so let's go back into Ubuntu Tweak. Okay, let's go back into Tweaks. Okay, and let's... Um, I still want to press the I'm feeling lucky in the wallpaper section. Just to see what happens. Although I will admit, um, it does not like this wallpaper thing. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> Relaunch. <laughs> uh, well. Oh, cool. And, um, hmm. All right, cool. Huh, love it. Love it. Okay, well now I found my wallpaper that I need to be using on my regular desktop. That's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> ah, pretty neat. Where do people get imaginations like that? That's something else. Okay, back to tweaks and let's see what else we can do. Okay, now we can have fun with Unity. Okay, we can turn the HUD on or off. 
Okay. Well. But then we just, in previous episodes, we tweaked the HUD. Why were we going to get rid of it? Ooh. Want your icon size? I don't think so. Let's make them a little bit smaller. Launch your opacity. I think I'll keep it that way. Back like toggles. Yeah, I, I really think uh, how we uh, already tweaked Unity uh, using my Unity was pretty good, so I'll leave that alone. Okay, let's do window tweaks. Window control button position on the right. Absolutely. I hate them on the left. Very good. Now we got the buttons over here where they belong. Okay, and then you can also have it set for just close button only. Ah, title bar uh, mouse wheel action is roll up. Yeah. All right, cool. Very good. All right, and I'll leave everything else as is. Then we have uh, some workarounds. Fix the appearance of themes when granted root privileges. Very handy indeed if you want root to match. Personally, I don't. I want to remember that I'm in root. All right. Um, let's look at login settings now. Okay. So here you can make some changes to um, your login screen. Leave that alone. I don't spend much time in the login screen anyway. Desktop icons. You can choose to show or not show desktop icons. I don't like icons on my desktop, so that'll never happen. Workspace. Ah, we have some things we can do here. Oh, cool. So, this works on the corners of your screen here, and you can determine what these are going to do. Um, okay, let's show windows. Let's open up another window here. Okay, and then... Alright, nice. So, that gives us the ability to have hot corners on the screen, so we can determine, you know... Um, Oh, and then workspaces. Let's do this. Now let's have a look at our workspaces. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> All right, then. Okay. Cool. But it is powered uh, by Compiz, at least until the next version, I think. So, you know, you get some Compiz things going on there. Okay, and then we have File Manager Tweaks. Okay, and I don't really think I want to mess with any of these, but these are options you can meddle around with. Okay, let's go into Admins. Okay. From here, we got the Source Center. Don't have anything enabled here, but this is where you can manage your sources. Uh, personally, I do that from Synaptic. No. Quick Lists Editor. Ah, nifty. So, hmm, I can actually shut some of these off, I bet you. Yeah. Turn them on, shut them off. <laughs> Let's sit here and meddle with these. But if I really don't want it, I can actually just uh, unlock that from the launcher and get rid of it. And then just have what I want on there. Okay, cool. Shortcuts. Okay. We can define, um, yeah, shortcuts. There! Aren't you glad I'm here to explain this stuff to you? 
No, but this will allow you to uh, define um, certain key combinations to do whatever. Let's see how easy this is. Okay, we'd have to type in um, the command we would want to run. So, why don't we uh, put this to the test and see if it works. So, I'll have it run Nautilus. Okay, the command is Nautilus, and why don't we move this, see if we can move this. Okay, Nautilus. And then the key, press a new key combination. Let's go Control-Alt-N. Okay, and now um, we have that key combination. So now, um, when I press Control-Alt-N, Well, okay, it was a good idea in theory, but apparently it's not working. Um, press a new key combination. Let's go. Control, Alt, N. Okay, try that again. <laughs> Probably have to log out and log back in, so we'll try that in a little bit and see if it works. Templates. Meh. Don't need any templates. User folder. Okay, lovely. Don't really need to mess with that. The source editor. Ah! So this is where we change our sources list and all of that. Okay. Okay. This is where you control your MIME types. So basically, you can change Maybe flack audio, maybe you want that to open with movie player instead. So this will allow you to manually change um, what applications are going to open up files. Let's say you downloaded VLC. That would give you an option to change this to VLC if you had that installed. So very handy. Good good one there. Okay, so the file type manager. Okay, I think I've pretty much looked at everything else. So let's go to the janitor page. Okay, and then from here, you can clean out your applications. Let's see uh, what applications it's going to clean. Download cache icons. Okay, this is stuff that can be cleaned. You can have it change out your thumb thumbnail cache. You can have this clean out old kernels. Package configurators and unneeded packages. Now, I read somewhere online that you, there is a possibility you can mess up your system if you uh, if you uh, use the uh, janitor, the computer janitor here. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not. So, any of you that have used that, please put a comment in the space below. Okay, all in all, uh, Ubuntu Tweak uh, does some pretty interesting things, although it is a little bit buggy in behavior. But fun nonetheless, it'll help you tweak out your Ubuntu system and uh, do all kinds of fun things with it. Okay, after a fresh reboot, let's see if my key combo works now. Now, unfortunately, um, I think there was a little bug in that. Uh, I wasn't able to set a key command. Um, so maybe that's something the developers can look into. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. It wasn't explained anywhere on the screen anyhow. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, we were able to do a number of tweaks with the system, but yeah, Ubuntu tweak is a little bit buggy. Well, that's all I have for now on this. If you have any ideas on what should be done in the next Ubuntu bootcamp, put it in the space below, and I'll have a look at it. Ha ha ha! It crashed! <laughs>